Hey cute people, I'm on a roll, somewhat of a roll. This is another video and it's not a whole video. It's an empty video, so it still has to do with products, but at least I didn't buy anything. But I just wanted to do this video before the new year comes in, the old year goes out and all the other stuff. The last empties video that I did, I believe was maybe either six months ago, three months ago. I'm not really sure, but I'll put it in the cards up above so that you can check it out. But I have quite a few things I want to show you guys. I'm going to make this video really quick because the last video, I kept you about 36 minutes and I don't want to keep you that long this time. I have some other stuff, so I may make two parts to this video because the things that I really want to share with you are the hair um, items that I have and they're over there and it's quite a lot. So I can't. I can't. I don't want to anyway. And I won't. <laughs> Alright, so listen. I'm going to get right into it right now because I'm already a minute in and I ain't showing you nothing. But anyway, what I always show you at the beginning of, beginning of any empty video would be the vitamins that I take. And I take B12 and magnesium. These are the two I really take. I'm going to start taking um, D3 because I don't get out as much as I need to or be out in the sun. But I take B12 because I mentioned to you my body doesn't absorb the B12 so my lips chap a lot. And before I did this video, I did do a lip check. So I hope that my lips aren't cracking because I took care of all that. And hopefully in the video it doesn't start to crack. But anyway, that's why I take the B12 because my lips chap so much I can just peel the skin right off my lip. And the magnesium I take because this helps me with leg cramps, hand cramps, finger cramps. It really, really helps. And I take 500 milligrams and it supports bone and muscle health. So this helps me a great deal. Trust me, if I do not take it, I get cramps just if I move a certain way. I'm getting old, y'all. Now, one thing I always show you because I love body washes, so I always try to show you some of the things that I like. These two, well, I have more than two, but... This here is something that I really like. This was Soft Soap Luminous Oils. And it, they have another fragrance also that I really, really like more than I like this one. It really smells really, really good. And for me, when it comes to body washes or just a shower period, it helps me wake up in the morning and helps me relax in the evening. So, yeah. And this one here is Coconut Oil and Lavender. And I always try to pick these up when Dollar General has them on sale. Yes, or have a coupon, but I like this one, and there's another one, Luminous Oils, I probably showed in another empty video. If I can figure out which one, I'll put that in the cards, too. But this one here, I really like, and I need to get another one. This is Olay, the cleansing infusion. I don't know about the micro scrub, and I don't know if there was supposed to be any beads in here, but I can't say I remember feeling any. But it's the crushed ginger. Can you see that? This stuff smells so good. Oh my goodness, I went through this really, really quickly and I made sure that I was the only one that could find it because it smells so good. And this is another one I like too by Olay. And this one here is the white strawberry and mint. Now I can tell you for sure I smelled strawberry, but I can't say I smelled any mint, but I like this one too. This one here, I'm not really sure how I felt about this one. I don't think I was the primary user of this one. Dow Coconut Milk. Yeah, I like Dow, but I can't remember this one too much, so I probably didn't use it as much. And this one here, um, Nivea Care and Blossom. It has bamboo extracts, orange blossom scent. This was okay. The light is so bright. Hopefully you can see it. This was okay. It took us some while, a while to get through this. I guess people didn't really care for it. Not that we disliked it, but just didn't care for it as much. Let me see. But um, if it's on sale, I definitely will buy it. This is another one I got. Now, this I got when um, we had Hurricane Florence and they were giving out toiletries to, you know, people. I got this, but I used this one here to clean my makeup brushes. And this is the Fresh Scent Tearless Baby Shampoo. But just to show you, because you probably can't get this in the store, but just to show you that if you have um, body washes or baby shampoo that you may have gotten from the hospital or a swag bag, you use it to wash your brushes. That's what I use that for. And I'm very much into hand cream, so I picked up a few. This one here, it worked pretty good. Utterly, 
Dirty Smooth Hand Cream. I got this from Dollar Tree, and it's a dollar, of course, and it worked pretty good. I trust it. I trust it. How I find out if I like a hand cream is if when I go out in the street and hair is not ashy, then I know it's a good cream. Like the one I just hold in my last video that I got from Miss A. Yeah, it worked out okay. So if you wanted to get it, go ahead because I'm going to get some more. And this one I got, I believe, this one cost me quite a cute penny. And I got this from Cracker Barrel. You know how Cracker Barrel sells things? And I got this from Cracker Barrel. And I really, oh my goodness, I really, really like And I think you can get this. Did I ever see this in um, Ulta? I think I did. This hair smells so good. I had another one too. And um, I think I will get some more. It's Dionys Goat Milk Hand Cream Sea Treasures. And it smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. This one and the other one. And I got this one as part of a set from dollar tree i just called it not too long ago hibiscus and pink clay okay now for a dollar it wasn't bad i don't trust it out in the street meaning that i have one down in the street and looked at my hands later on and saw that this part of my skin was dry so this does not beat my test <laughs> so i won't be picking up these anymore but i got another one over there you probably can see it like right so I won't be picking up these at all. But the packaging sure is pretty. That's what got me. So I got that. And then I told you I like um to keep my hands clean. We wash our hands here at my house. And this is something else that they gave us. Hurricane Florence or either Dorian, but I think it was Florence. It's the Assured Instant Hand Sanitizer. Um, if you're going to get a hand sanitizer, get this one here. I believe you can get this from Dollar Tree. So it was cool. Yeah, somebody use it all up. Because what happens if, if I run out of hand soap, I'll put that in the bathroom so you can use that instead. Even though I don't really like hand sanitizers. But, um, yeah. Now these two I got from Dollar General. So when you see these in the store, I want you to just leave them in the store because... They need to be left in the store. I mean, they were only a dollar. They were really big. It's the Spa Soap Milk and Honey Cream Soap. Milk and Cream Soap, yeah. I got two of them, a dollar each. But like I said, when you see these in the store, leave them in the store because they don't do much of anything. My favorite, well, I have two, which is Soft Soap and, soft, soft soap and Dial, which are my two favorite hand soaps. So here is Dial. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I just love trying different scents, different fragrances. Oh, this lights are just driving out everything. Here it is. So this one here is Cedar Balsam, which I didn't buy in the glow. I bought it before the winter came in. Yeah. Is that what I want to say? And this is Coconut Mango, Coconut Water and Mango. So those are something that I like. And then we ran out of hand soap, but I did have this little handy dandy hand soap too. And I got this in that um care package when we had Hurricane Florence. Okay, now let me show you some stuff for the face. And I'm going to be finished really soon because I told you I'm not going to do too much. Okay, now hmm, I hold this and I will put the video up here in the cards. Um... This here, I think, is really good for someone who has breakouts. This here dried my face out, and I have dry skin, but I was getting breakouts, so I wanted something for acne or just breakouts. So this is the Oveno Clear Complexion Foam and Wash. It has sialic acid. It's an acne treatment. It has soy ash extracts, and it's gentle cleansing for breakout-prone skin. So that's what this is here. And hmm, I got it on sale at Walgreens. Yeah, because I buy everything on sale, I tell you. I will spend a penny, but it's going to be on sale. I got this, and then I got these pads. Now, these pads here were drying too, but I like the pads. I don't know. I'm going to look into some cleansing pads, you know. Um, it wasn't really expensive, like $5.99, I think, and you got 30 of them. 28 and this is the clear complexion daily cleansing pads it exfoliates and polishes 
And this also has sialic acid and it's an acne treatment. So both of these are cleansers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of these are cleansers. So I pretty much like that. And then I use this here, these facial wipes to take off my makeup. I'm not sure how I felt about these and I'm not sure, well, well, I can't say I didn't like it because me, myself, I'm always ready to try something different. But this is the Simple Sensitive Skin Cleansing Wipes. So I can't remember how I really feel about these. But um, I might try them again. I might, I might try them again. Now this I really like because I love the smell. And this is the Shea, Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Facial Wipes with myrrh and frankincense. It's um, good for normal to dry skin. It removes makeup and dirt without rinsing or drying. They were not drying, but I always rinse my face afterward, but these smelled so good. This I got from um, Curl Kit. When I was getting the Curl Kit, I got these from Curl Kit, and I really, really like these. These have 30 biodegradable cleansing wipes. These I really like. I like the smell. I like the fact that they were um, big enough, wide enough, long enough, you know, so you can get the makeup off. You know, you get some uh, makeup wipes, especially the ones from Dollar Tree that are so small. You have to use two. These are perfect, and it smells, oh, gosh, so good. I think I'm going to get me some more of these because I love them. I love them. And then this here is um, T. N. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Now, what is the other company that sells Witch Hazel? This is cheaper. And if you go to Walmart, and it may be the same in other stores, if you go to Walmart and you buy the same brand in the beauty section, it costs you more than if you go to the pharmacy aisle. Yeah. I'm telling you, believe me when I tell you. Let's say, for instance, I bought this from the pharmacy aisle, which, um, say, if I could have paid $4. If you buy it in the beauty aisle, you're going to pay, say, five forty nine dollars or something like that. It's a big difference. It's a cute difference. I mean, it's not going to break you, but, I mean, if you like me trying to save a penny, go to the pharmacy aisle and buy T.N. Dickinson's. Now, the other brand I can't think of um, costs more, no matter which aisle you purchase it in. And they didn't have it in the pharmacy aisle. But I only have four beauty products, and that's it, really. Um, I'm surprised. Yeah, four beauty products, because um, we won't even go into all that. But one thing I did um, use up, and this is what stopped me pretty much from getting the... Um, what do you call these things? The twist liners, because... There's more liner in here. I'll have to break this off and then where I'm going to put the liner. So I feel like with this, you lose product. I don't know how much may be in here, but I did like the product overall. It was perfect for me, the color and everything. Um, this was dark brown and it's by NYX. It is their auto eyebrow pencil, which you're not going to be able to see, but I'll show you anyway. And I did like this. I don't remember how much it cost, if it was expensive or not. And expensive for me for an eyebrow pencil, pencil is over $3. I think it probably was about 5 or 6 because it's NYX. And then I used this here, which was a sample. And this is um, They're Real by Benefit. It was a sample. This here, now this I like. I really like this. But I cannot see myself in no way, no how, paying how much they want for foundation. I use this to lid dry it up. Nothing. Yep, so I probably had it more than a year. I don't know. But this stuff right here would make my non-existent brows look very, very real. And I like that. And then I had this pencil here, which I don't even know what pencil this is, but I put it in my little empty stash. It was wet and wild, but most likely it was a eyebrow pencil. So you can see. You, know, you can see a hole. <laughs> okay. And then... This is something that I remember. This is L'Oreal, I know for sure. But I can't remember. I think it was an eyeshadow primer. I'm not sure. But it pretty much didn't have much in it. And this is what it looked like here. And you can see that... Okay, it says decrease. So I'm thinking it was an eye primer. Yeah. 
I don't know. Sometimes with jar with, with tubes like this, I wish you could, you could see inside and see what's in it. Anybody have a secret for that without having to cut it open or anything? Let me know. Because I would like to know how much is in here. But I had it for a long time. I had this in New York. So that goes to show you that I had it a long time. So I'm just going to get rid of it. But those are my empties. Nothing too exciting until I get to that hair stuff. Yeah, I got a lot of hair stuff. Which is going to take me probably twice as long as this video right here. So I'm going to try to do that one tomorrow evening. Hopefully. And then maybe I get it up in the new year. But this one here, I want to make my last video for 2019. So, I am going to end this video because if I don't soon, with me talking so much, it'll end up being 20 minutes. And I don't even want it to be that long. So, I'm hitting on 16. I might make 17. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and in this video because I want to take this makeup off my face maybe get another piece of chicken because I baked some chicken this evening and then just relax just chill out and relax I'm off tomorrow and I just want to enjoy myself and go food shopping and maybe some other shopping but it will not be beauty shopping and I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video hopefully I'll see you in the next and hopefully you stay to the end of the video I'm going to start asking you doc, you guys to do that in the beginning of the video, to stay to the end of the video. You may as well, and you may as well subscribe for more me. It costs you nothing. So again, I'm ending the video. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching, and share and spread love. I got to stop looking over there and look over here. I'll get it right. I don't get it right, but I don't feel like I'm talking to anybody when I look over there. I feel like I'm talking to a wall, but when I look over here, I feel like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> Bye.